wakati nilikuwa pale jela ombi langu muhimu sana nilikuwa naomba tu Jina langu naitwa Joseph Msoka Matendo na isi Kenya niko na bibi na watoto sita Lilala pale sababu kazi ilikuwa mingi sasa nikafanya mpaka usiku kaona kwa sababu Joseph was sleeping in his shop when a riot ensued outside the police had gone there to uh, supervise the destruction of houses and uh, dwelling places in his neighborhood. Wali nilienda kusimama tu nje ya hiyo nyumba nikasikia risasi imenipiga kwa mkono. Alafu sasa nikachukua hatua hatua ya haraka nikaenda hospitali ya Kinyata. During the riot they were not able to contain the crowd and they uh, the, some officers were injured. Sasa ikawa kuna mtu mwingine na yeye aliumizwa kwa hiyo kijiji ule mtu pale akakuwa complainer wa hiyo kesi. In Kenya, a police officer would be in significant trouble uh, and there would be significant ramifications if he loses his firearm. They would have to find someone quickly to put the blame on. That person in this case happened to be Joseph who was laying in the bed next to him at Kenyatta National Hospital. Wakati nilio nilisikia hiyo maneno nilishtuka kitu ya kwanza. Mimi nilikuwa naomba haswa Mungu asaidie Joseph aweze kutoka. Ya wakati niliingia kwa jesa yangu sana kwanza nilizituka sana nilikuwa nalia zili ya watoto zili kitu ya kwanza nilikuwa na mimba ilikuwa na miezi tatu ukakuta sasa siezi ya muka nienda nikatafute kazi ya yote wakati nilikuwa jela wakati ule ulikuwa mugumu kwangu sana ni kusikia bibi yako hospitali na anataka kujifungua sasa mtoto na ana mtu karibu wa kumsaidia sasa huwa wakati ulikuwa mgumu sana zini nilikuwa mgonjwa na sikuwa najiweza kwa hivyo hiyo hakuna siku naweza shiba pale nikaoga hapo kwa hapo zindishtuka kwa kuta niko confused eh nilikuwa na ngopia maisha yangu sana kwa sababu hapo tu nilichanganywa na wale waizi wa hatari kabisa waizi wa bunduki na nililia sana na kuuliza Mungu maswali mengi sana. Sasa nikaona ni kama inaweza hata naweza kufa. IGM took up the case of Joseph Musioka. The first reaction when they hear there is somebody who want to talk to them is that they have such a joy. Nilifika kotini ni kaona wakili wangu amesimama wa nikesia hii kesi nilifurahi sana nikasikia kwa roho yangu sasa hakuna jinsi ya bila ningeweza kujitegemea bila IJM kutusaidia we established such a bond with the family as if they were our own brothers and sisters we became desperately attached to them and wanted to help them get out. Kasema nimeachiliwa niko huru nilifurahi sana siku hiyo nikajua sasa nitalala nyumbani kwangu siku hiyo sasa kwa maisha yangu sasa niweze kuwa huru bila kuongopa na sapenda nibandilize nyumba ni kwanza ni kushukuru sana kwao kwa sababu ya hiyo maombi alafu waendelee tu na kuniombea pia maombi imesikika kwa Mungu